All right, this is video that's still number one on our website right now. In fact, it has gone viral. It has been the number one video in the country. A man in Alabama cuts the head off a huge copperhead and then the decapitated snake bites itself. Well, some say it's the most amazing thing they've ever seen. Others say it is the most disturbing thing they've ever seen. Tonight, we have Dean Ripper from the Cape Fear Serpentarium with a live copperhead right here in our studio. Dean, thanks for coming in at this sure, late hour. Sure. Appreciate uh -huh. it. Right. Thank you very much. And that snake was way over there a while ago, and now it's over here. So I'm going to make my question quick. Go ahead. The copperhead that we had in the video earlier, the head was cut off, but it still bit itself. And you're saying that people can still be attacked even if you chop his head off. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's well known throughout history. There have been many, many uh, cases of people cutting the heads off of snakes and then thinking that they'd uh, rendered it, or uh, well, that they killed it and turned around and bit them. But, I mean, how does that happen? I mean, you Well, it's just like a if chicken. You... If you cut its head off, it's going to run around and flop for a while. And he's a. But, you know, uh, snakes, the, the ne neurology of snakes is distributed throughout the body. It's not all in the brain. So he kind of knows things with his body as well as with his brain. And uh, so it's all. Just by cutting the head off, you haven't. Disrupted, it. disrupted its conscious, uh, its consciousness. In fact, of course, as you probably know, in the old days, in the days of the guillotines, they would cut the head off of a human being, and they would stay conscious uh, in the basket. The, the head in the basket would actually be aware of itself for a minute or so. As an expert in snakes, that video that you saw that we played here, that obviously has been seen millions of times <coughs> all around the, mm -hmm. the world today. Your first impression when you saw it. A lot of people are saying, you know, why, sh why take the video if you're doing something like that to a snake? Well, it's pretty cruel. I would say the, she looked like the, she was pregnant as well, as I, I would say the copperhead was. Really? She looked pregnant to me. Yeah. Well, I would say it was very cruel, but people do it all the time. They kill snakes all the time. You can kill them all day long. You'll never get to the end of them. There are at least 17 million copperheads in the state of North Carolina running free right now. Now, you said you've had this copperhead for a while? Yeah, I've had that one about 10 years. Really? Yeah. But it is still poisonous. Oh, it's still poisonous. If they but, got off that desk, you, we would be in trouble. Well, <laughs> he, he definitely can bite you. It's probably the most excruciating pain you can ever know. Really? Uh, there has yet to be a single case of death, a copperhead bite in North Carolina. So that's a reassuring, I suppose. Well, for we you. don't want tonight Not to the be case the first. Yeah, right. Yes. Not the case with rattlesnakes, though, which are much more venomous. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming in because that's that video has really taken off. And I, and oh, I think yeah. a, a lot of people are either on the one side that it, they, it's the most amazing thing they've seen or the most disgusting thing they have seen. Yes, it was even disgusting to me. Um, but uh, snakes do bite themselves when they're in severe agony. A snake dying of a respiratory disease will turn and sink its fangs in its own back. Really? Mm, yes. But this really is information we needed to know because <laughs> yeah. people think, well, I'm just going to chop his head off it's, and then the snake well, is then dead. Don't go play with the head, yeah, because right. it will bite you. And there have been people die that way. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Dean, we appreciate you coming in. Dean Ripper from the Cape Fear Serpentarium in downtown Wilmington. Mm -hmm. What, do you have a name for this guy? No, we never got around to that. Okay. Just yeah, Copperhead? Just, just Copperhead. You're going to say goodbye to him? I'm going to say we can call him out of here right now. <laughs> call him out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, Dean, thanks very much. When All we right. come back,